Okay, we're gonna go back over this Shattered Union video game trailer intro. It's way too high production. Way too high production. 2005 game, released on um, the October the 5th, 2005, 12 years ago, okay? 12 years ago, now I'm gonna play it again. I've shown you this many times, but this, I reckon this is the actual ball game pretty much. I mean, it, it totally um, mirrors the Revolution TV series, the divide and conquer, the America being, you know, shattered, uh, shattered union split up and secession and all that but anyway now nah, we've got to look at it in terms of the 13th now we've got to look at it again in terms of the 13th because that's as far as i'm concerned i mean not that i really care about dates but if there was a date for the uh, seattle false flag the submarine missile boom right um it'll be the 13th so and that, that's that could be this friday could be this weekend right so Watch this again. This is, um, this is pretty heavy stuff. Following a disputed election and a tie vote, the U.S. Congress installs the most unpopular president in U.S. history. Trump. As David Jefferson Adams becomes the 44th president of the United States. Shortly after the election, increased unrest, rioting. Remember, this is 2005. This is even before the London 777 hoax. Yeah? and a growing number of militias have given rise to ever-increasing domestic terrorism. Absolute bollocks, of course, but uh, of course it's government terrorism, the Zionist Freemasons, Israel. In response, the president invokes the Homeland Security Act and declares martial law on the... Listen. ...west coast and other areas. Martial law on the west coast first. Yeah, you see, that's the Seattle, the Pacific Rim, the West Coast first, because that's the big operation, the final part of 9-11. Let's go there again on that one. Security Act, and declares martial law on the West Coast and other areas of the country. Though highly contested, a Supreme Court ruling sidesteps the electoral process, disqualifying popular presidential candidates from several states. Public outrage explodes when a sham election leads to incumbent David Adams accepting a second term in office. During the 57th Inauguration Day ceremonies, Washington, D.C. You hear that? Washington, D.C. Look at that 13 right there. Look at that. You have to revisit these things, don't you? With fresh eyes. Look at that. The big 13. K-M-O-H. That'll be interesting. Let me um, tell me what you think of that. Um, Washington. Now, again, it's the state of Washington. It's if this is what they always do. They they say Washington D.C., but really they mean um, Seattle, Washington, the state of Washington, thirteenth. Okay, let's go there again. In the 57th Inauguration Day ceremonies, Washington, D.C. is struck by a low-yield nuclear weapon, killing David Adams and most of the U.S. Congress. The destruction of Washington, D.C. effectively breaks the chain of succession, sending the nation into chaos. In an emergency vote, the European Union deploys peacekeepers in the greater D.C. area to secure international interests. With separatist sentiment rising, California's governor declares home rule and secedes from the Union. Texas follows quickly and declares sovereignty, taking neighboring states with them and forming the Republic of Texas. Yeah, that's NWO. That's their other way of uh, doing NWO. Now. Yeah, now. Really, now. The once United States of America lied in ruin. The time for words has passed. And the second American Civil War now erupts as seven factions wage war across the land. Captain America Civil War. The time 
for words has passed. And the Second American Civil War now erupts as seven factions wage war across the land. They battle one another to reclaim a nation, to restore peace, to rebuild this shattered union.